Hey, what's up everybody? It's Taylor y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. So, first of all, it's almost 4th of July y'all. We're a day till 4th of July. Today's Sunday. Happy 4th. I hope all you guys have an amazing 4th of July. I'm wearing my little God Bless America y'all shirt. I love it. My mom got it for me. Thank you, mom. Billy here is opening some cans. So, What's happening today is we are having a get together. Uh, we're inviting his family over, so we're cooking up some yummy foods. So I wanted to share with you guys uh, two things that I am making. Well, we're making other things, but these are things that I thought you guys would be interested in to see how I make them, you know? The first thing is a cream corn. So I got this recipe off of Pinterest, but you're just gonna use, literally, it's the most simplest thing and it tastes so dang good. Anytime I've made it, people love it. So all it is is corn, cream cheese, butter, and sugar. That's it. The second thing I'm doing is charro beans. Now, I have never in my life made charro beans and I wasn't about to figure out how to do it this time. When people are coming over, I don't have the time to learn. So. What I'm doing, and I've actually done this before, like for us. Yeah. And he liked it. Yeah, really good. He liked it a lot. So what I'm doing is I cheat a little bit. Sorry, mother-in-law, she's gonna come at me. Don't tell her, <laughs> see what she says. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell her and I'm gonna see what she says about them. These are the ones I'm using from HEB. And I beef them up. So what I'll do is I add bacon, ham, hot dog. I chopped up a whole bunch of onion, tomato, and we have chipotle to add in there and cilantro and i think that was it but anyways i'm gonna show you guys how i put everything together hey y'all all right so i got the bacon going first i'm gonna go ahead and pour all my beans in this pot i have so this is the bigger can of beans this is a 31 ounce they do have one that's like half the size and again, this is seven. So I don't really have any measurements for how much meat I'm using, you guys. I'm literally just like throwing meat in there. This was, um, I think five hot dogs cut up, mm. I think. And right there, that's six cans. We didn't even do the seventh can. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know, it might maybe be too I'll, much carne. For maybe I'll eat that can for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> for lunch? Just that, nothing else. <laughs> so I'm gonna add some cebolla, some onion. I chopped all this up the other day. Mm -hmm. That might be enough. I'm gonna save some for Pico de Gallo, probably. Okay. And then I have my tomato and jalapeno. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna add jalapeno in here. I'm gonna save that for the Pico de Gallo, but I'm adding tomato. I'm gonna wait though, because or else if you put the tomato too soon, it's gonna break down too much. It'd be like mush. And you don't want that. And then I do have cilantro. I'm gonna wait to add that till probably later. All right, y'all. So there's all the meat and the onions cooked. I'm letting some of the grease drain off. I cooked the tomato and jalapeno. I decided to add some jalapeno anyways. I just sauteed that for a little bit. The beans are in here. I went ahead and added the chipotle. I put the entire three ounce can. Uh, there was about five chipotles in here, uh, but they were pretty small. And there's still, there's still some like, uh, like sauce in there. So I'm just gonna end up tasting it, seeing if it needs anything, you know. If it doesn't need it, then I won't add it. Wow, this thing is filled to the max. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the cream corn. The beans are going. I have them on low, so they're just gonna go for a little while. Okay, so I got all my cans of corn open. You're going to drain them and just dump them in your crock pot. You can do this on the stove. I've just always done it on the crock pot. Doing it on a stove would probably be faster. Normally, I use frozen corn, 
But this time I didn't because I kind of wanted it to, I guess, cook faster. Um, this will probably be done in about, I don't know, ready in about an hour to an hour and a half. If it's frozen corn, obviously it'll take longer. And I just like using the crock pot because it also keeps it warm. I have nine cans of corn, but this recipe calls for three. We just like to make a lot because also like it's gonna last and I like to send people home with food. So anyways, uh, nine cans of corn and then you are to add one cup of milk. Okay, so it's gonna be confusing. Three cans of corn is one cup of milk. I'm adding three cups of milk because I have nine cans. So this is two cups. I need one more. So there's three cups of milk. And then you need one tablespoon of sugar. If you're doing the normal size recipe, the three cans, you do one tablespoon of sugar. But I'm adding three. And y'all, this recipe is so good. It's not sweet. Well, I mean, it is a little sweet, but it's more savory. It's just good. I don't know. All right, there's three. All right, now, if you're doing a normal size recipe, you do one stick of butter. Since I'm doing nine cans, I have three sticks of butter. So I'm just gonna plop them in there and you're supposed to um, cut it in slices. It's just easier. It makes it easier to melt that way too. Okay, it's kind of sticking together. So I'm gonna get all this put in here and then I will move on to the next ingredient. So, the next ingredient is cream cheese. For the original recipe, you would only use one block of eight ounce cream cheese, but I'm doing three blocks. So I'm gonna get all of this put in here. Again, I cubed it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. I'm not adding salt. Normally you would add salt to this. I couldn't find unsalted butter, so I used regular butter. So just in case it's too salty, I'm not gonna add any salt. But the recipe did call for unsalted butter. And then cover it on low for, I would say the most at two hours. But if you're using frozen corn, it's probably gonna be about three to four hours. But it turns out so good. Everybody in the family really likes it. All right, so the beans have been sitting for a little bit. I turned off the heat because since they're canned, I don't want the beans getting all mushy, but I'll like turn them back on to heat them before people come. Anyways, he's gonna go ahead and taste it. I haven't added the cilantro yet. One jam right there. They're good, right? We did something a little bit different. It wasn't uh, like as spicy as we liked it or like it needed more flavor. So Billy said to take out some of the chipotles and blend it up, which I know I've seen his mom do that. So I was like, oh yeah. So we like took out some bean water, you know, bean juice. <laughs> I mean, so the sofa. You mean coffee? Yeah, we like blended it with uh, the chipotle and put it in there and it made it bomb.com. Like it tastes good. But I, I can tell you right now, like the legit like homemade ones are better, but these are still know. good. I don't know about that. This is good. If I had it my way, I would blend up another one. Yeah, you like, like them really spicy. One more or like one and a half more. I wouldn't say they're better like... Well, it's not even that spicy. No, but it, you can taste that there's some spicy in there. But even the homemade ones, like, they're good and these are good, so it's like... I think uh, the, the difference for me is that these these beans are a little bit more mushy. Yeah. Whereas, like, uh, when your mom cooks them, the beans have bite to them, like like al dente. Mm -hmm. I don't know, they're good, though. Some charred beans, you want some? Yep. They're this. delicious. Let me clean this spoon so I can grab another bite. Thank you, boy.
out there, son. Wow. Don't get too close, buddy. Keep it straight. Oh, hold Whoa. it out, Otto. Oh, no. Wow. Good job. Keep your hand there. Hold it up. Stay like that. No, no, no. Stay like that. Keep your hand over there. Keep your hand out.